Hello everyone! After a year or so, I'm back! As you can see, my background is different again. Um, I think my first reaction video um, was when I was in Brooklyn and then I moved to Wall Street in New York City and then I'm now in Queens. And I think I'm gonna stay here for longer because it's more affordable and I love my apartment. Anyway, <laughs> okay, so... So I decided to make this video because I was just at my cousin's house in Jersey City where a lot of Filipinos are. And um, I think I mentioned in my other video that one of the BGYO members is actually related to my cousin. He's actually half Igorota, I'm Igorota. And then while we were talking about it, I was looking up BGYO. I was curious if they have a new video. And lo and behold, I saw Magnet. My camera is on top of my iMac and I'm gonna watch from my iMac. Okay, let's do this. I feel like they're improving, like, which is a good thing. Oh, there's Mickey, my cousin's cousin. Hello there, just popping up for a quick commercial break. Just reminding you to please subscribe, like this video, and comment on this video if you are so inclined. I see a lot of views, but I don't see a lot of subscribers. So just letting you know, it would be a great support for me as I'm trying to do this full time to like and subscribe. It doesn't cost anything, right? So let's proceed to the regular programming. Mwah. Whoa. Floating keys. Are they becoming more popular in other countries? I'm not sure. I should look up some other reaction videos, you know? So dramatic. How old are they now? I wonder. Mickey! Yes, represent! Represent! I don't think he ever mentions that he's half Igor, but he is. His dad is Igor. And I think his mom is Chinese Tagalog. Oh my gosh, that was so cool! Alright. Um so I have to confess because my life has been busy. Since the last time I've done a BGYO review video, I haven't really seen any of their newest uh, songs. Um, I think the last song that I reviewed was um, She's Into Her or He's Into Her. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm so glad to see that they have improved a lot. Like. They have matured, I can tell that uh, they have grown as musical artists. Even the singing and the dancing, I feel like it's in another level. The music video production is also in another level. And the video is an in another level. Um, I'm sorry, I keep looking here and here because I wasn't sure. I'm using my phone. Wow, I'm very impressed. Um, so I'm very curious. Are they gaining popularity um, in other countries, like in other Southeast Asian countries? I feel like they can compete with the K-pop world, I feel like. Um, I know that there's this thing that I've been hearing from other Filipinos when I tried to 
show their video, their old videos, um, to other Filipino Americans, they were like, oh, this is cool. But then some other Filipinos that are from the Philippines, like me, my, myself, um, they're like, oh, they try to copy K-pop. Well, that's how it is. <laughs> There's no such thing as actual original. Uh, I feel like there's always this reference when it comes to art and in other things in life and in whatever job you do there's always a reference there's no such thing as actual original i feel like that's just my opinion and i'm so glad that this is in tagalog i was born and I grew up in the Philippines, but I grew up in Baguio City, so we didn't really speak Tagalog that much. We spoke English more. My grandparents can't really speak Tagalog. Speak Tagalog. <laughs> That's my Filipino slip. Um, they speak English better than Tagalog, but then um, the translation really helps. And wow, I'm very impressed. Like I'm, I've always been impressed with BGYO. Uh, SB19, um, I did review them, remember? I was kind of impressed with them, but I feel like their melodies are all similar. Um, I don't know why <laughs> I thought that. I should probably watch more SB19 videos. So, if you have other suggestions I promise now I'm gonna post every week what should be my next review are there any other emerging um, Philippine pop groups that I should review just let me know let me know in the comments below and uh, by the way I'm starting to be more active in social media and I will actually be in the Philippines in February, but I will be mostly around the ocean because I'm a diver. <laughs> I actually scuba dive and I'm getting certified as a, as a free diver. And I'm also getting more active in my comedy, um, you know, gigs here in New York City. So if you want to follow me, just follow me on... Uh, Instagram. I don't know why I couldn't speak. Just follow me on Instagram at Indigenous Girl Variety. And then TikTok, Joyce Lau Comedy. And keep following me here. Oh, I also have a travel blog, which is medium.com slash at everything Joyce does. I know the names are all different. I just wanted them separate. So yeah, and I'm gonna vlog more about my experience in the Philippines in February as well. I know this is a short review, but I don't think I need to stretch this review out more because it's really good. Um, for me, I see the K-pop influence, the Filipino influence, and the Western influence because, you know, essentially K-pop is like um, boy bands in the 90s and 80s. It's just into their own, they made it into their own style. So thank you so much for watching. And again, let me know which bands should I review next. Bye!